Restoring Accelerated Pathways at CCRI The Before Since 1964, when the Community College of Rhode Island, CCRI, opened its doors, various accelerated pathways for recognizing and awarding prior learning credit have been in use. Through the Trade Adjustment Assistance Community College and Career Training TACT, grant, CCRI has been able to conduct a whole-scale review of all accelerated pathways policies, processes, and procedures. To tell this story right, let's use an analogy. Let me introduce Cece, a 1964 Chevrolet Impala, who loves taking students on the accelerated pathways for prior learning. CCRI has a total enrollment of 16,000 students for each of the past six years, and CC carried students through roughly 650 separate credit award events. About half of those are when students take the college-level examination program or Dante's Subject Standardized Test Exam pathway, and about 85 credit award events are on the pathways traveled by military personnel or veterans through joint service transcript reviews. CC carried about 75 students on the portfolios and 60 students on the Departmental Challenge Exam Pathways. CC provides International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers apprenticeship students an opportunity to earn 44 credits toward their Technical Studies degree and a couple students in Medical Technician concentrations. We also have the Standardized Credit Award Pathway for those students who have completed the four real estate courses required by the State of Rhode Island for licensure, up to 15 credits and Police Academy graduates earn nine credits in CCRI's law enforcement program. There are about a dozen variations off this pathway, including firefighting, emergency management, and financial management. The real difficulty with CC, having down a whole-scale review, is that she is not ready for a cross-country road trip as some pathways were not present for some students and the processes and procedures were in need of repair. In order to get CC ready, we gave her a new chassis as a secure foundation in which to tie all the systems together. This was accomplished through the first ever prior learning policy the college has ever had. The two most important points in the policy from a student's perspective are that credit would be awarded to specific courses and that all advisement and guidance would be in the best long-term interest of the student. We also gave CC a much needed new engine by implementing the Council for Adult Experiential Learning CALE, Accelerator, a web-based pre-screening tool where students could enter their information and then we provide proactive guidance and specific direction on possible pathways for which students can be awarded credit. This is proactive in that each student encounters three traffic guides who point students to the accelerator. By implementing the CALE Accelerator, we have seen a 140% increase in the number of military personnel and veterans served per month, that we are awarding double the prior amount of average credits previously awarded and are on track to triple the total credits awarded for the year. This is important as we know from analytics conducted on the previous six years that the graduation rate for those students that take advantage of prior learning credit is nearly four times that of those who do not. In other words, four times the number of students cross the finish line when they take advantage of CC's trips down the accelerated pathways. To promote accelerated pathways further, CCRI developed 10 new videos and spent $30,000 on a new media campaign, radio, TV, newspaper, online ads, etc., to let people know of the exciting news about all the pathways at CCRI. We now have a complete list of accelerated pathways. We added GED College Ready Plus, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, and UXL exams from Excelsior College and Pearson, just to name a few. We also gave CC a new set of wheels by conducting a statewide summit on prior learning. Working with the Office of the Post-Secondary Commissioner, we invited folks from Cale and American Council on Education, ACE, who conducted workshops and presentations on prior learning to senior leaders and faculty from all three Rhode Island public institutions and several private institutions in the state. The TACT grant has not only provided for much of the work done in the area of accelerated pathways to proceed, but also has made CC road trip ready and a true benefit for students at CCRI. For more information, visit our prior learning website.